fakes, frauds, fruitcakes, and flim flammers. You get hooked into a social program and they'll corral you into a point where you're forced vaccinated. The time to rise up and start burning fucking shit is now. Um, there's this big debate about 5G. Uh, and how uh, how does that affect this particular situation? There's a lot of people out there that are saying that it's activating, it's activated by 5G, or 5G is the virus. You know, 5G is the disease, and it's not a virus. And you know what? There is a virus. Now, what, what 5G does do, because you have to have so many of these repeaters, because the, the, the wavelength... Um, is different than 4G. You have to have more repeaters to be able to have the the area covered for 5G technology. And it has been found that 5G technology can activate the inflammatory pathway that activates NF kappa beta. And when NF kappa beta is activated, it goes that goes in that that complex goes into your nucleus and it's in it basically activates or deactivates certain genes hmm. when it activates the inflammatory genes then you have cytokines that are released from the cell and then you have a, a pro-inflammatory response so this is it goes back to what i was saying before if you want to have if you want to boost your immune system or have a more healthy body you have to reduce your inflammation so if your body is already somewhat in an inflammatory state um, because of the technology around you or the lifestyle you have, then if you get a pathogen, most likely it will take hold easier than, let's say, if you weren't chronically inflamed or around technology. Mm. So, so the point that they're making that 5G, 5G is not causing the virus, but 5G could be exacerbating an inflammatory response that helps the virus take hold. Get a gun! Start fighting for your freedoms! We have a detailed video that will be coming out on how to actually search and read the document. Because obviously, Bunker Boy me. doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> but he'll go on the internet and keep on saying all these people that have been trying to do the right thing and help our country. Try to call them shills and call them grift. The whole point is to try to preserve the record of my thinking real time what is going on with this crisis. I'm a PhD in finance. <laughs> now, you can also um, donate through the website <laughs> or through Facebook. I don't say anything. So I have I have four different product lines in addition to my published books. You can purchase my books on my website, uh, Barnes & Noble, or the uh, iBook store through Apple. Now, in I'm a PhD in finance! <laughs> uh, C60. Congo says, I was instantly banned by Cottrell back when he started COVID hyping. I think it was in March. Called him a PhD in finance. <laughs> and said, never change. <laughs> you had him nailed. Uh, As you know, it is. It's time to do this. So, I have a very good offer. But why you, why you keep on promoting hate? I don't understand. I'm a PhD in finance. <laughs> called Silver Shell. This is much better than Corral. The time to rise up, start burning fucking shit, is now. So for months, you're ridiculing my people. I'm a PhD in finance. <laughs> and you make fun of me. We did? Yes. How can you speak? that?
that's the proper way of being a human being. So it doesn't evaporate and crack your skin. Perel does. Therefore, <laughs> this is a much better product to sanitize your hands long term. I'm a PhD in finance. <laughs> and